Chef Roy, how, hey, you, doing? how you doing? Brother? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's on the menu? You know, we have some uh, raised hobo. It's going to come with a uh, miso broth and some Chinese juke. Okay. Okay, how's that? Show us the steps. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, strain the broth. The broth has some pork in it, has some tomatoes, it has some uh, uh, lemongrass, ginger that I braised for about an hour and a half. So what I'm going to do is just strain this. Can, can we just drink the broth? Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's, it's actually really good. So. It looks great. Yeah, it's really good. So of course, what you want to do is uh, Make sure you squeeze everything out of here because the tomatoes have a lot of nice acid to it and it's gonna really round off the uh, broth itself, okay? So I'm gonna just strain this all the way in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hogo. And I have a nice filet here uh, that I'm gonna use first. And then also with the filet, I'm gonna add the uh, the collarbone and actually the cheek also. Okay, gotcha. so a lot of uh, tenderness and a lot of uh, plumpness to the, uh, the collar and the uh, cheekbone itself. So I'm gonna just braised it slowly. The next thing I'm going to do is actually make the juke or the uh, okayu. What I've done earlier was to make this rice and of course the rice is easy to make. All you have to do is just pulverize some uh, Japanese white rice and then and then just cook it in water. Okay. So into this rice, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, ginger. This is the julienne of ginger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just tear thin. I'm going to put that in there. And then I have some oyster mushroom Okay, that I'm going to add to the, uh, the stock itself. And then we have here and then, of course, this is the uh, uh, the lap chong, the Chinese sausage. I'm going to be adding to this. <laughs> you got lap chong, you got bacon, fish and rice. This is going to be great. Rice. And then what we did was we made some uh, homemade chashu earlier. And, of course, it's just the pork butt that we use. So I'm going to add that in there. And then as soon as uh, it starts to kind of like sizzle, as you can hear this, okay, I'm going to be adding some uh, stock. I have some little clam and pork that's combined together. Let's go. Okay, so. Uh, what I'm doing here again is, is I'm cooking this fogo really slowly and I'm not going to really mess around with it too much. Okay, so I have this going right here and I'm going to just uh, uh, bring the temperature up a little bit more on this dish. And of course, what I always do in every kitchen is to make sure I taste it and make sure the flavors are there because sometimes, you know what, uh, with the sweetness of the uh, lap chong or with the chasha, sometimes it might get too sweet. Out of balance? Yeah, out of balance. So you want to make sure that. Um, and you kind of control that sweetness. So, but you know, this, this, this tastes pretty good right here. So, and of course we have the white rice here. This is the, uh, of course, the rice that I cooked earlier. And of course, if you can see that it's really starchy, uh, you know, cause that's, that's what you want. And so what you want to do is kind of like uh, mix this around. And there's one more step that I'm going to be adding to this rice, okay, to finish it off. I'm going to be adding the pink crab in there. Okay, mix this around. Give it a little taste this at the end. Okay, what I'm looking for is a very mild flavor because I don't want the, um, the juke part to really overpower the fish or the, uh, the broth itself. So, if you don't mind, if I can start plating. Please do. Okay. This is the kind of dish that's looking to, to shape up to be great on a cold, wet, and windy day, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, what we have is we have a little bit of rice. Oh! With the crab. Okay, with the mushrooms. Okay, um, I'm going to leave some of this. Uh, in the pot itself for the film crew, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Forget that, put it in a, cupper, a Tupperware for me, man. So, okay, so I have the fish here. So again, what I've done is, okay, I've got the, uh, the cheek portion of the, uh, of the hogo, and of course the, the, the collar, and I have the fish itself, because I'm gonna, it's nice and tender, if I can just put that on the plate itself. And then, to finish it off, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of uh, miso because again, this, this broth itself is really nice and flavorful and, and, and you don't want to uh, do too much to it because there, I mean there's so much flavor in it already. So I'm just going to add the, uh, the miso a little bit in here, okay. Let me just put some of this broth. Oh shit, this looks great. Ho! Oh. Just kind of pour it on there. Okay, and then to finally finish it off, what I want to do is just get a little bit of uh, just a little bit of pepper, black pepper on top, and then I have here a little Japanese treat. Chef, is that cilantro? No, it's not. This is actually mitsuba, and, mm -hmm. and actually in Japan when we make soups, uh, and mitsuba is it's something that kind of like makes all the flavors come together. Beautiful dish, Chef. Tell you what, everything you do is a work of art, but we're not quite sure yet if it tastes that good. So folks, we'll be right back to tell you if this tastes as good as it looks right after you catch this. Chef, awesome job. Thank you.
Folks, if you just joined us, we're with Chef Roy Yamaguchi here in Waikiki at the new restaurant, and he's just put together this fantastic dish. Chef, can you describe this for us again? Again, this is the hogo that's been braised in a little miso broth, and it comes with a uh, juk, Chinese-style juk, which has crab meat, um, cha shu, lop chong, and some mushrooms. Okay, spoon, spoon time. There we go. And what you want to do is try some of that hogo because it's nice and, uh, it's, it's, like I said, it's a great braising fish. It's a fish to be, uh, to be steamed or to be uh, cooked with broth. Now the hogo looks great. I want that crab, but here goes the hogo. Mm. Nice eating fish, huh? That's so tender, chef. Very tender and the great thing, again. Oh, great flavors, homeless. What I was trying to do is make sure that it's not too heavy because you know it's a nice braising um, dish. So you want to be able to taste everything, including the rice, the uh, the lop chong, the fish itself, and of course uh, some of the uh, meat. Well, you did it. Good job, sir. Thanks for being on the show. Welcome, also, thank you to everyone else who was on the show this week. Folks, it's not going to be that long. We'll see you in another week on Let's Go Fishing.